Hello and thank you for watching, my name is Murganator, and today's race will be me in the Corvette C7R going around Rio in my first modern endurance race in many, many months, but the commentary won't be on the race itself, it'll be for something that I've been kind of working on for a couple weeks, and uh, anybody who plays Forza and makes YouTube videos will come out with this tip, uh, you know, this particular video, it is the Forza Motorsport 7 Wishlist. Now, I know there's going to be some ideas that are the same of everyone else, you know, penalties for multiplayer and yada yada yada, but these are ones that I that I just, I want really bad, so let's just jump into it. Um, I want a professional calendar styled career, a calendar year where you start off as a rookie and you choose which division you want to compete in and you work towards becoming a professional and winning the championship and then you can move on. You can do multiple series at once. Um, that would be fun. I hope they have more divisions and more race cars. That way you can do like Trans Am or the IMSA Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge or you know even stock cars like NASCAR. And that would be a lot of fun because the, the setup right now for career is actually really, really boring and I haven't finished any Forza career ever. I get pretty far uh, I think Forza Motorsport 4 being the furthest I ever got. 5 I barely got through and I just started playing online. And Forza Motorsport 6, um, it's really repetitive and mundane and I have no desire to ever finish it even though I really try to play more career um, here and there. Um, next up we have more professional racing divisions and, and I want it all. I want every single racing division possible and I mean these are like series cups anything from like a uh, super trofeo to uh, world endurance championships uh, I, I want everything I want the LMP1 LMP2 I want uh, the the GT uh, Pro GTAM you know all of it that would be awesome uh, and then we have uh, bring on the tracks bring back classic Forza uh, favorites, you know, like Maple Valley. Uh, give us back the Japanese tracks for fuck's sake. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have cussed there. I, I apologize. But bring back the Japanese tracks. They were so fun. And you can't run like Super GT Cups and Series without having the Japanese tracks. It's impossible. Uh, and give us some more European and US tracks too. Uh, and, and all in all, I want about like 75 tracks, but that's for another video. I. I I conjured a list of 75 tracks that I want to see in, in a future Forza Motorsport game. Um, talking about tracks, no more one track with eight different setups. I don't want several different, you know, night, rain, short tracks anymore. Getting like Homestead and having 13 different setups with rain, multiple short setups, a reverse, you know, I don't want that anymore. Nobody in real divisions really races anything at, uh, you know, reverse. Nor does anybody race in pouring rain, but that'll be another topic for here in a little bit as I discuss something else I want within Forza Motorsport 7. Um, a couple of shorter options are okay, like Road Atlanta short, um, Long Beach short, you know, and would be okay for some of the weaker cars. I mean, you don't want to have GT, uh, modern GT division cars racing on short tr circuits. I mean, if you can, if you want, but... That kind of setup, shorter tracks would be better for like the Mazda, Miata, MX-5 Cup, uh, the Mini Challenge Series, stuff like that. Um, and so here we go into the no more day, night, rain options for the tracks. I want dynamic weather. It's, it's done really well in Forza Horizon 3, even though it is kind of predetermined whenever you uh, start a certain race. But I want real time day and night transitions. Um, this would make endurance racing better. You know, you start a race at 9 p.m. and Or let's just say you start a race at 5 p.m. And it's a six-hour race, so it's going to go on until 11 p.m. Well, you put 5 p.m. in the hopper in, in a private lobby, and then it runs actual time, and then the sun will set. And then I think there should be a way where if you are playing at Silverstone... There is like a weather detector in the built in the game somehow that if it's if it's going to start raining in the UK it'll start raining on the track um, and if it gets too wet 
Um, this is where the full course yellows come out, and I'll bring up full course yellows here in a minute. Uh, next up, we have remove the performance index. I think the PI point system is just wrong. I don't like it. Um, it really it tries to balance out cars, but there's such an imbalance with, uh, like, let's say A class, S class. There's there's always a couple of cars that are better than everything, and it would be better to classify racing uh, by the spec divisions or actual division specifications, and you can base it all off of uh, base horsepower or weight or uh, downforce, you know, that kind of thing. And they do that more in real life anyway. So, um, F and then next up we have pit strategy options. I want pit strategy options. If I am in an, an endurance race, and I've been racing, there's, there's, there's 60 laps, I have five laps left, I don't need to change my tires, but I need a splash of gas. There should be an option to just add a half a tank of gas or, you know, just enough for five laps and then get back out of there. And it makes pit strategies better. It would make it so, you know, if, oh my god, I messed up, I don't need to go through a, a, a long time pit. I don't need to change my tires, I just need gas. Or maybe I don't need gas, maybe I just need to change tires. So that would make it even shorter too. So that would be awesome to have a better pit strategy for certain races or any race for that matter especially with these private hoppers when they're getting into uh, races that are an hour long uh, a better pit strategy would be really really helpful with certain races okay and then here we go um, I want drive-through penalties for shitty driving uh, yellow flags for small wrecks and full course yellows for the bigger wrecks also bring on the full course yellows for really hectic rains um, and then full course red for just torrential downpours when it comes to the dynamic weather problems. I think that would bring a sense of realism to the game and it would make it more unpredictable and more fun. And speaking of unpredictable, uh, <laughs> speaking of being unpredictable, um, I think they should make it where there's actual technical problems in the game too, where you're racing, you're racing, you're racing. Let's say it's just a matter of pit strategy combined with uh, pre-race options and how your car is set up and how hard you're running your car. But let's just say your your electrical system is malfunctioning. You need to pit. Or maybe you just your tire is just... One of your tires goes flat and you're slow. They need to put in a full course or a, like a, uh, a yellow flag so people need to slow down. And then if people are wrecking or cutting corners, it is a an automatic drive-through penalty and that will that should stop people from driving like poop um, I want Forza Motorsport 7 to have a Forza-thon thing kind of like Forza Horizon 3 does and so what what Forza-thon is it's like a series of challenges challenges like three or four and you have about 48 hours to complete it maybe even shorter and typically you get something neat um, something bonus, maybe even a car that hasn't been released or that's hard to get. And I think that would be really cool in Forza Motorsport 7 where the challenge is, you know, hey, win three races in uh, an IndyCar race within 24 hours. Okay, that's a tough one, but if you win that, you get a really, really cool, like, IndyCar livery, or maybe you get a whole new IndyCar or even just a new car in general, like a 69 Chevelle or something. Something neat, something cool, something that uh, would be good for the collectors out there. Or people just wanting the Forza Thon challenges to do them every week. Um, more customization options for tuners, drifters, and car enthusiasts. I mean, these are like the street tuner cars, like body kits, spoilers, interior designs, and m more colors. Just more colors. And... Uh, maybe make uh, in the livery option area make a uh, public vinyls more accessible I guess um, and this kind of bleeds into more livery options paintable windows brake calipers I've heard a lot of people a lot of artists on Twitter bring these two options up paintable windows are great for race cars as well as the brake calipers calipers for more tuning options or more custom options I should say and then, you mean, just, let's just say you could get a Honda Prelude. Honda Prelude, slam it, put a body kit on it, big ridiculous spoiler, paint the windows, paint the brake calipers, custom rims. I mean, 
custom interior design to your liking, and that would be neat. That'd be neat for drifting, that would be neat to just cruise around in and show off in a video, or maybe in a replay, it would be neat. Um, yeah, so that would be that would be pretty fun to have. Next up, we have improved eSports and commentary options. Now, Forza Motorsport 6 has been uh, really good at updating this feature within the game as it's been out for almost two years now. And it just keeps getting better and better, but for Forza Motorsport 7, I would like even more options. Like, if there's multi-class racing, make it so everything works right. You know, they put everything in buckets. But I want improved esports and commentary. I really like it. I really liked what the ESL guys were doing. And I like, I not like, I love what YMTV are doing. Um, they're implementing their own replay system in there. And it would be awesome for other people to have this option as well as whenever they want to stream a race or commentate a race. That would be really, really fun. Um, I want more lobby host options. Having only 50 laps is a joke. I also, want it to make, I also want to make it possible to fill in the void with AI if possible. I think that would be great to, you know, let's just say, okay, today we're going to do big race. We're going to do 85 laps around Laguna Seca. Everyone get in, get your cars ready. We're going to go, bam. And right now they have a thing where you can only do 50 laps or four hours, which is a pretty big gap because four hours of racing would be way more than 50 laps at most courses, um, unless you're doing like Nürburgring or the Le Mans full course. But I want more options for this. I want more laps. Make it, I mean, make if you're going to limit something, put another zero on there. 500 laps is the most you can have. And then instead of four hours, maybe there's a glitch or something in the programming. I don't know, but instead of four hours, Bump it to 12 hours. Bump it to 24 hours. There's a lot of 24-hour races. It would be good to have a 24-hour race in there for a lot of reasons. A lot of people do these long races. Um, and if, let's say, you know, I also want a bigger lobby. I want a big lobby. Like, let's make the field 50 cars. Um, but let's make the 50-car option only available in private lobbies because I think public, public hoppers would not be good for 50 drivers. Uh, really professional career-based racers would be good with a 50 person field uh, 50 racer field in a race um, I still think it would be hectic I still think it would be um, kind of a headache but instead of having having these lobby a lobby B lobby C kind of events we could put everyone in a single lobby and let's everyone duke it out at once like a real racing field I think that'd be great um, Let's see, Series Cup Multiplayer Organizer, uh, a feature that, that lets you put in the rules, maps, uh, the paint system, like the, re the requirements for your liveries, and track things for events. What I mean by this is it's an organizer built within the game where, let's, okay, I'm doing the PTG GT3 Cup right now, and PTG Ducky has to do everything by hand, everything, he has to calculate everything and then upload it. It would be awesome. If Forza Motorsport 7 had a thing where you can put everything in ahead of time, have people race it, it automatically counts, calculates everything, points and fastest lap bonus points, uh, pole position bonus points, and then puts everything in an overall uh, database for people to come back and view um, for on a cloud or something for a while. I mean, it would be nice for, okay, we have 32 people in this race, and everything is automatically up updated and ready to view within, let's say, 15 minutes. And 15 minutes would be a long time for a computer to kick on a bunch of, to do some really easy math. It would make it so these contestants can go back and look at the results, and it would be awesome. And uh, I think that would be the coolest thing. That's, that's probably the most innovative thing I could think of from um, an organizer perspective. I know people go through loops, just leaps and bounds to put these events together and I really think putting an in-game organizer if it was glitch free and really good at the math and the options were there I think it would be a neat system uh, and of course I have uh, uh, written down here a bigger field I, I want massive lobbies that's just me <laughs> I want more cars in a lobby I think it'd be fun like today um, was a huge stream for JSR Devon. He hit 500,000 views. 
uh, Total on his YouTube channel, and YMTV and JSR Devin had this tri t uh, Twitch stream, and it was awesome. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun, but there were so many people trying to get in. I bet you if there was an option to have 48 cars in the field, um, yes, that IndyCar race at Bathurst would have been even worse, but um, I think it would have been more fun for more people to get involved and more people to race with the people they want to race with. Um, but again, I think the race organizers would have had a heyday. So what are your thoughts on this this little list of mine? Um, I really think that it's not too much to ask for. In terms of the 75 tracks, I will make that uh, list available soon. I'll have that up in the next video, maybe. So I hope you enjoyed the race. Really close race between me and this BMW with the pit strategy going kind of weird because I got stuck behind somebody. So slowed me down. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next race. Bye-bye.